ஓம் ஸ்ரீ கிருஷ்ணாய பரமாத்மனே நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமக பதஞ்சலி யோக சூத்திரம் கைவல்ய பாதம் சூத்திரம் ட்வெண்ட்டி ஒன் டு தேர்ட்டி ஃபோர் சூத்திரம் ட்வெண்ட்டி ஒன் சித்தாந்தர திருஷ்யே புத்தி புத்தேர் அதி பிரசங்க ஸ்மிருதி சங்கராஷ்ட எனதர் காக்னைசிங் மைண்ட் பீயிங் அசியூம்டு தேர் வில் பி நோ எண்ட் டு சச் அசம்ஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் கன்ஃபியூஷன் ஆஃப் மெமரி Let us suppose that there is another mind which cognizes the first. There will have to be something which cognizes that. And so there will be no end to it. It will result in confusion of memory. There will be no storehouse of memory. Sutram 22 Chitte Apriti Sankramaya hai Tad ஆகார ஆபட்டவு ஸ்வபுத்தி சம்வேதனம் தி எசென்ஸ் ஆஃப் நாலேஜ் தி புருஷ பீயிங் அன்சேஞ்சபிள் வென் த மைண்ட் டேக்ஸ் இட்ஸ் ஃபார்ம் இட் பிகம்ஸ் கான்ஷியஸ் பதஞ்சலி சேஸ் திஸ் டு மேக் இட் மோர் கிளியர் தட் நாலேஜ் இஸ் நாட் அ குவாலிட்டி ஆஃப் தி புருஷ when the mind comes near the purusha it is reflected as it were upon the mind and the mind for the time being becomes knowing and seems as if it were itself the purusha sutram 23 drashtr drashya uparaktam சித்தம் கலர்ட் பை த சீயர் அண்ட் த சீன் தி மைண்ட் இஸ் ஏபிள் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் எவ்ரி திங் ஆன் தி ஒன் சைட் தி எக்ஸ்டர்னல் வேர்ல்ட் த சீன் இஸ் பீயிங் ரிஃப்ளெக்டட் ஆன் தி அதர் தி சீயர் இஸ் பீயிங் ரிஃப்ளெக்டட் தஸ் கம்ஸ் தி பவர் ஆஃப் ஆல் நாலேஜ் டு த மைண்ட் Sutram 24 Tada Sankhyaya Vasanabhi Chitram Api Parartam Samhatya Karitvat The mind through it innumerable desires acts for another the purusha being combinations the mind is a compound of various things and therefore it cannot work for itself everything that is a combination in this world has some object for that combination some third thing for which this combination is going on so this combination of the mind is for the purusha Sutram 25 Visesha Darshina Atma Bhava Bhavana Vini Vrittihi For the discriminating the perception of the mind as Atman sees us. through discrimination the yogi knows that the purusha is not mind sutram 26 tadha viveka nimnam kaivalya prag bharam chittam then bent on discriminating the mind attains the previous state of kaivalya or isolation thus the practice of yoga leads to discriminating power to clearness of vision the veil drops from the eyes and we see things as they are we find that this nature is a compound 
and is showing the panorama for the purusha who is the witness that this nature is not the lord that the whole of these combinations of nature are simply for the sake of showing these phenomena to the purusha the enthroned king within when discrimination comes by long practice fear ceases and the mind attains isolation sutra 27 taschitto pratyaya antarani samskare byah the thoughts that arise as abstractions to that or from impressions all the various ideas that arise making us believe that we require something external to make us happy or abstractions to that perfection the purusha is happiness and blessedness by its own nature but that knowledge is covered over by past impressions these impressions have to work themselves out 28 hanam Their destruction is in the same manner as of ignorance, etc., as said before. Sutram 29 Prasankhyane api akushi akushidhasya sarvatha viveka khyate dharma megha samadhi even when arriving at the right discriminating knowledge of the senses he who gives up the fruits unto him comes as the result of perfect discrimination the samadhi called the cloud of virtue when the yogi has attained to this discrimination all these powers will come that were mentioned in the last chapter but the true yogi rejects them all unto him comes a peculiar knowledge a particular light called the dharma mega the cloud of virtue all the great prophets of the world whom history has recorded had this they had found the whole foundation of knowledge within themselves truth to them had become real peace and calmness and perfect purity became their own nature after they had given up all these vanities of powers sutram 30 tatah klesha karma nivrutihi from that comes cessation of pains and works when that cloud of virtue has come then no more is there fear of falling nothing can drag the yogi down no more will there be evils for him no more pains sutram 31 tadha sarva varana mala apetasya ज्ञानस्य आनंद आनंदयात् ज्ञानेयम् अल्पम् देन नॉलेज बेरफ्ट ऑफ कवरिंग एंड इंप्योरिटीज बिकमिंग इनफाइनाइट द नोबल बिकम्स स्मॉल नॉलेज इटसेल्फ इज देयर इट्स कवरिंग इज गॉन वन ऑफ द बुद्धिस्टिक स्क्रिप्चर्स sums up what is meant by the buddha which is the name of a state it defines it as infinite knowledge infinite as the sky jesus attained to that state and became the christ all of you will attain to that state and knowledge becoming infinite the knowable becomes small this whole universe with all its knowable becomes as nothing before the purusha the ordinary man thinks himself very small because to him the knowable seems to be so infinite 
சூத்திரம் தர்ட்டி டூ ததக கிரதார்த்தானாம் பரிணாமக்கிரம சமாப்தி குணானாம் then or finish the successive transformations of the qualities they having attained the end sutram 33 kshana pratiyogi parinama aparanta nirgrahya kramah the changes that exist in relation to moments and which are perceived to at the other end at the end of a series or succession patanjali here defines the word succession the changes that exist in relation to moments while i am thinking many moments pass and with each moment there is a change of idea but we only perceive these changes at the end of a series so perception of time is always in the memory this is called succession but for the mind that has realized omnipresence all these have finished everything has become present for it the present alone exists the past and future are lost this stands controlled and all knowledge is there in one second everything is known like a flash sutram 34 purushartha sunyanam gunanam prati prasavah kaivalyam swarupa pradishta va chiti the resolution in the uni- inverse order of the qualities bereft of any motive of action for the purusha is kaivalya or it is the establishment of the power of knowledge in its own nature nature's task is done this unselfish task which our sweet nurse nature had imposed upon herself as it were she gently took the self forgetting soul by the hand and showed him all the experiences in the universe all manifestations bringing him higher and higher through various bodies till his glory came back and he remembered his own nature then the kind mother went back the way she came for others who were also lost their way in the trackless desert of life and thus she is working without beginning and without end and thus through pleasure and pain through good and evil the infinite river of souls is flowing into the ocean of perfection of self realization glory unto those who have realized their own nature may their blessings be on us all this completes the kaivalya pada and the patanjali yoga sutras samasta loka ಸುಖಿನೋ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ